No way, I'd be busted for sure. No way, I'd be busted for sure. It's a little cage with a canary in it, perched above a little lever, huh? Yo. Hello. Have you got the hiccups? No. I'm freezing. Well, why don't you put a coat on? I'm wearing a coat, you nitwit. I've even got this blanket which makes me itch and I'm still freezing. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the log for posterity and won't part with it. You mean it's like a symbol of growth or something? I don't get any respect around here. Why, I bet if George I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was cold, we'd get some heat in here. Awesome blanket there, dude. Thank you. It was given to me by my dear old colorblind Aunt Hattie. How come you sign your name so big? Astigmatism. That's where your joints hurt, right? All right. The, the, the truth is that a friend once told me that women go c crazy over guys with a big signature. What are you guys doing in here? We're writing a, 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 a writing the. A, a, We're drafting a constitution for the United States. Don't say draft. You'll only make me colder. Wimp. Why don't you have some hot coffee? Oh, I can't stand coffee. It makes me irritable and want to bang my head against the walls. Whoa, I can relate. Well, please don't do it around here. Shouldn't you guys be working instead of just sitting there? Writer's block. We can't think of any um, amendments or anything, so we put a suggestion box over there. I don't suppose you have any br brilliant ideas. What about free sandwiches for all roadies? No, there's no such thing as... Don't say it, dude. I've heard it before. Well, I gotta go, dude. Hey, Tall, Dark, and Spiffy. My name's Hoagie. Well, how quaint. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson, noted scholar, musician, horseman, student of the sciences, member of the bar. Oh, sure, I've heard of you, dude. Could you start a fire, please? I'd love to oblige you, young man, but I can't. This is the only log, and I'm saving it for posterity. How can you let Hancock suffer like that? A real man is warmed by the fires of his spirit. You should listen to Washington relate his experiences at Valley Forge and take heed. Has anyone ever told you you're a very snappy dresser? Why, yes. I studied at Virginia Coat and Technical, where I majored in color theory. I was captain of the varsity cravat team. Those are impressive credentials, Tom. Thomas. Dude, I loved your work on the Declaration of Independence. Ah, thank you. What was your favorite part? I like the we the people part. That's not in the Declaration of... Say, that's not bad. Maybe we can use it. Dude, is that like the Constitution? Right now it's just a Constitution, I'm afraid. We hit a slight creative block right after the preamble. That's why we put up a suggestion box over there. What's in the can, Tommy? 
Thomas. My name is Thomas, and this, my chubby friend, is a time capsule filled with remembrances of our time to be revealed 400 years hence. So, how's the time capsule going? I'm sorry to say that except for my log, we haven't got a thing. Well, later, dude. What? What's going to happen later? It's one of those pulley things. Nah, it's too complicated for me. It's blocked up with somebody's bed. Better not, that might invalidate the patent. Mr. Hancock, dude? Yes? My code. Get away, you loyalist. He wouldn't get it. I'd rather not. They don't seem to have gotten too far. You can look, but don't touch. Stolen from the desk of George Washington. Hey, keep your hands off that. It's big, it's heavy, it's wood. Sorry, I'm saving it. It's... Uh, excuse me. Yes? Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. Awesome. Indeed. Weren't you president or something? Yes, I expect to be chosen president unanimously. I'm very well connected. Do you think I should be the ecology president or the education president? Depends on how many cherry trees you've chopped down. Well, I am quite the adept tree cutter. Men still tell tales of my youthful prowess. Would you give me a demonstration? I don't see why I should. Do you really have wooden teeth? As a matter of fact, I do make use of artificial teeth. I find them to be far superior to the ordinary enamel variety. Don't you have a problem with splinters? I've been to war, boy. No one who's heard the thunder of musket fire, smelled the sulfur from a cannon blast, and felt the fear in the hearts of his comrades is going to be bothered by a little thing like, oh, blast it. Well, what about woodpeckers? Hardly. Wow, what do you brush them with? I use a toothbrush, much like everyone else. And a bit of wood polish, of course. Don't they make a disposable kind? Actually, I believe the proprietor of this inn is working on something like that. My Uncle Henry has false teeth, too. Fascinating, I'm sure. What are you looking at out there? The future of our nation. That young couple by the tree? No, no. I was just admiring my reflection in the window. Striking, aren't I? 
I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Pondering the great truths, eh? Well... I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there isn't. I only cut down cherry trees. Family tradition, you understand, cherries only. There's nothing out there but cedar and kumquats. The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff! I don't think I can put that in the chronojohn. A horticultural horror. I can't touch it, it's spiny. It looks broken, but there's something in the coin return. It looks broken, but there's something in the coin return. It's a bottle of correctional fluid. I'm sorry to do this to you, little fella, but it's for the future of the whole planet. It's the battery plants I'm supposed to give to that Red Edison dude. I don't wanna. Making it dirtier won't help. I don't wanna. Hi there, mister. Franklin, Ben Franklin, soon to be known as the inventor of electricity. Uh, do you know Red Edison? He's a scientist guy, too. Red Edison? A scientist? He's just an innkeeper who pretends to be a scientist, and he's not very good at doing either one. 
I can't believe Washington and Jefferson picked his inn of all places to write our Constitution. Shouldn't you say, the discoverer of electricity? You think the ultimate power in the universe is just under some rock waiting to be discovered? Ha! Huh. I, Ben Franklin, am going to summon power from the sky by sheer force of genius. I wonder what Red would say about that. Who cares about that crackpot? Aren't you the hundred dollar guy? Hmm, the hundred dollar guy, not bad. What's so bad about Red? What can you say about a guy who spent the last four years perfecting a left-handed hammer? He's insane. And he steals other people's inventions, too, before they can even apply for the patent. Not that I'm bitter. Oh, I need Red to help me save humanity. So he's a missionary now, eh? Well, why not? Can't be any worse at that than he is at inventing. Well, see ya. Carry on. I don't want to. Just about done with this. Then I'm grabbing the latest flag design and sewing it up. Then it's bye-bye, Betsy.